Hey guys, it's Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. This is my gorgeous daughter, Genevieve. I love her so much. Um, we just um, are jumping into, my dogs are up here, sorry. We're jumping into graduation season. And so today we're gonna be making a really fun, um, an unusual twist on a um, graduation card for a friend of ours. So Kylie did her master's thesis um, tied to aliens. And so we're gonna be using the new collection, Reach for the Stars, to make a very fun and different um, graduation card. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, guys, I really, really, really love the Reach for the Stars collection. And it comes with, it's in the new catalog with Stampin' Up! And it comes with a Stargazing Designer Series paper. And it owns me. This and the Holographic um, Trio Designer Series paper is gorgeous. But look at the colors. Look at the fun. Lots of celestial images. But also it's neutral enough that you can do a lot of different things with it. We're going to be making this it's slightly unusual, but totally can be used for any of our um, people graduating. Now, this is a fun fold. And my daughter, Genevieve, is going to do a couple parts of this because she knows stamping. It's what she's done her whole life. She doesn't have a choice. Um, I actually signed up two weeks before giving birth to her, and it's been the adventure, let's just say. Okay, so we have this piece of designer series paper right here, and this is a fun fold exploding card. You gotta, you gotta love an exploding card. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take this designer series paper and we're gonna place it on the track to create this. Now this is where I'm gonna give you a little hint. If I place one corner, often the other corner will move. So I will put it on a track, put my finger on it and line it up. Now designer series paper can rip. So you don't wanna score it so hard that it rips the designer series paper, right? That's really important. And this is kind of fun and funky because that is our Kylie. She is fun, she is funky, she is bold and vibrant. And that is one of our favorite things about the girl. She's pretty awesome. And then we're going to go like so. So this is a um, eight by eight piece of designer series paper. And you can see all of these measurements on my blog at gettingcrafty.net in the link below. Oh, you might've heard it might've made a slight rip. Now I'm going to teach you what I would do with this. I'm going to put a small piece of tape across the back, clear packing tape. I know that sounds weird, but um, this is going to be an interactive card. So it's going to be moved often. And this is actually something I have done more than once where I've screwed up. Yes. We're also, um, let me see here. I am not going to go all the way up. I'm going to kind of go like, so we have a lot of graduations this season and I'm going to be making a variety of cards that hopefully inspire you to have some fun with your gift giving. Um, we did a card last year. You can see this. It'll be linked on my blog as well that I did for my son and his friends. And so we are going to show you um, just a variety of cards that are really fun and unusual. Now, while we're doing that, Genevieve, what do we need to do to make this card come to life? Something pretty basic. Stamp? Uh, yes. Yeah. So what are we going to do with that stamp? put it together we are gonna put it together that is possibly one of my least favorite jobs just in case anybody was oh, wondering you do you find it cathartic yeah okay so she's gonna show you what we do right here while I'm doing this piece is it too much for you guys when we're doing two things at once I don't know um the tape is on here and this is going to be the back part of the card I am going through and using my bone folder to really help that adhesive apply itself so while she's doing that, I'm going to move my bench over and I'm going to move this card just like so. And you can see where that tear was. See where that slight tear was right there? So Genevieve is putting it together. And we've actually been asked quite often um, how we do this. So did you want to explain? You're going to I kind of cut you off and like didn't let you guys do it. So while I'm doing that, I turn to this piece and I'm going to put a small piece of tape there, you guys. Just small just because that's where I ripped it. And Jenny's gonna explain to you how she's gonna do this greeting. You don't have to do the whole set, you're just gonna do the greeting that you're gonna apply with. Oh, the greeting and the person? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the greeting, um, reach for the stars. And I just peel off the back of this one so that it's easier when I put it on this. And I'll just peel both off, both sides. That way it sticks. Sometimes it's a little hard. My son is calling you because he called me and I didn't answer. Just texting. Okay, and then I try to line up as much as possible and then I just push it down. 
and it comes off pretty straight just like so there we go and what I like to do, you guys, I tend to drop things. I have some nerve damage. I will put my finger on the sticky part so that I can um, do that. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so what we have here is um, the fun fold. We have cut across the middle or scored and ex accidentally cut across the middle. But we're going to go in and we're going to fold it up. Now, this is kind of backwards, but I do that one first, right? Then we're going to take this X and we're going to fold it in. Do, do, do. Let's hope I'm doing that right. If you guys don't know, I am dyslexic, so this could go awry. And that wouldn't surprise me in the least. Okay. And then we're going to go the awry, the awry. We're going to go awry, you guys. That's what we're going to do, apparently. Um, I hope not. So, all right. So, what we have here is this is going to go in just like so. Boom, shakalaka, baby. Boom, boom. Then we have, oh, oh, wow, look at that. That's not going to go. So we're going to have to do a custom. Let's go ahead, and I had the black cardstock cut to a wrong dimension for this wow card because it's going to explode with the galaxy. And that's my, my goal is to explode with a ton of color and fun. So let me see here. Let's go ahead. Okay, so when you screw up, you screw up big. I screwed up big. Remember I told you it might go awry? Well, I had this vision of a pop cup card, but I screwed up. So this is not going to work the way I wanted. It was um, folded in a way that did not actually work. It's just too big. If you wanted to make an extra large card, this would be the one to go with. I don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and go up and down instead of diagonal. So we're just going to take an, a light score, turn a light score. And maybe we won't need the tape this time. <laughs> and then we're going to take this one. And I'm just double checking here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I want it to be just like so. So we're going to take one diagonal cut, not the other way around. That's where I screwed up. So again, if you're still using the track, you want to put the track there. And then you'll move the other side. And then you're going to score going down it. I love that our paper trimmer has a score and cutting blade all in one. It's just very, very, very helpful. So there you go. We're still going to do this same one where we fold this one inside. Again, if you're worried about this, uh, like not holding its true shape, you can totally place a piece of tape on the back and nobody's going to judge you, least of all me, because I am the queen of screwing up. Still an eight by eight piece of designer series paper, still double-sided and sure to wow. My friend Julie is nothing but amazing. She's a great mom. She homeschools like we do. And then this is her first one graduating. So it's super excited um, for them. So here we go. Oh, yes. That's what I wanted. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. Super fly. You can thank me later. <laughs> okay. So we have um, pieces of black cardstock that we're going to be placing across the bottom. Here, I like a good foundation. Um, this is going to explode open with a celestial image. So what we're going to end up doing is, and I would totally edit that, except for Genevieve did all of that assembly while I was miscutting. Gotta love that. Um, lots of grace in crafting for myself and for others, you guys. Have grace. So I'm using the multi-purpose liquid adhesive, and I'm going to place that down, just like you see there. And this is our basic black cardstock. I love it, super strong. And the fibers are dyed all the way through. Unlike lesser quality products, this is one of those reasons that you love Stampin' Up, let me just say. So um, I am going to grab this here and go around. Are you taking a B reel while we're doing this? Yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. Um, okay, so. It's not how that works. It's not how that works. It is if you get a message. I don't know, you guys. I'm old, apparently. There's a new social media called Be Real that my daughter is on with all of her friends, and I'm like, whatever, I'm ancient. So now this card's going to explode. But I want to make it a fun pocket card. So I have a piece of basic white cardstock that we're going to place inside, but we're going to stamp it first with are you ready for your greeting, Genevieve? Here we go. Let's do that. And I'm gonna grab a bigger block for our so wrong because <laughs> you just did it backwards yeah. so she knows what she did wrong so for me it's not really wrong you guys I will use my grid and I will place that down and then I will place my block upon it that way you know it's got a good grip 
and we're going to use a piece of black or I mean black it ink. You can use Memento or Stazon black ink. Um, Stazon is a solvent ink. Memento is not. This is not going to be watercolored, so I don't care how it comes out um, on that. So we're going to go ahead and put Reach for the Stars up here at the top of this corner. And let me see here. My son just came up and um, let me see what he needs. Hold okay, on. guys. So um, my son. Okay, guys, my son literally interrupted me through this whole thing, and I have no idea where I left off. Good luck with this at this point. Um, I did stamp with the Memento Black each, uh, Ink Reach for the Stars, and we're doing this diagonally. So this is going to end up going in just like so, where I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to show you guys why in just a second. We're making a pocket to put um, a gift inside for her, a gift card. Um, actually, we'll put cash. So there is that. So I've cut the basic black to match the exact size here. And what we're going to use is our um, adhesive strips here. These foam strips, they are super great for this. I want a pocket. I want it to be able to get in and out pretty easily. Actually, hmm, do I? It might be too easy for the money to come out. So if you're looking to do this with, um, for the money to to have or gift card to have easy access that might be the thing i think what i'm going to do just, just use the assembly and we can put it in because it'll be dry by the time we put the money in for her glue the money in <laughs> glue the money in wouldn't that suck you guys <laughs> wouldn't surprise me if i did it though let me just show you okay so we're going to go ahead and place this down here on the bottom boom shakalaka again did you notice that i was keeping my finger on the tip um of the the point there and then putting this in and now we're going to have a little pocket right there so once it's dried I'll end up bowing it to be able to access that you guys will see that but we need to let it dry so we're going to do that and then we're going to apply it to the inside and then we have a little bit of die cutting to um, have some fun with this project Kylie is a really fun girl I love her she's got a giant heart she's a great big sister but she's been really great with all the kids that are like behind her in the same educational community group. Um, we have a community day and I just love that she's always so friendly, isn't she? Okay, so we have here an exploding card. It's going to look like this. Here, all the measurements are on my blog at gettingcrafty.net and the supplies to purchase all this are available right now. Now we have this exploding card and I want to create the tassel on top of that. And my Genevieve is going to help us out with that. So I'm going to take my little astronaut that you guys see here. And ooh, I don't like that he's crooked. Does it matter? No, but that's where like sometimes my um, a little bit of ADHD comes into play. Now, Genevieve, um, what are we going to do to create a tassel? We're going to fray the end of this ribbon. I have no clue what it's called. This is an online exclusive um, metallic twine like ribbon. It's got two different metallics. It's got silver and gold in that collection. I'm just going to cut up with our ribbon snips a little bit. A little bit. Those ribbon snips are not working great right now. So what does it mean by ribbon snips, Genevieve? So we put a ribbon on our snips to show which ones will cut better on ribbon, basically. Okay, so we're going to go kind of up. So maybe that's... Ah, don't pull my fingers. I don't want to pull her finger off, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to go up a little bit. Right? Well, I'm not saying you did bad. And then we're going to take this and we're going to twist. Make a happy little party. And fray it out. Right there. Boom, shakalaka. Then you're going to take and go to the other side here kind of cut the same and do that oh, i made it a little bit longer my niece just graduated with her phd and had her ceremony this week i can't wait to send her a graduation card as well to get her phds nothing short of amazing all the graduations this year always it's exciting to be part of their journey to see people accomplish that next level don't you think mm -hmm. i think so okay so we have that there i like it um, and then what we're going to do is we're doing a little bit of die cutting, you guys. We're going to be stamping, and then we're going to use the back of this here. Actually, we decided on black is what we decided on. Okay, so we have a whole die cutting set that comes with this, and we're going to use the Memento Black Ink Pad. Now, this is a linen-based ink pad, so you can see the pattern of the linen on there. You want to stamp um, over and over and over until it's really full. And if you did 
like so, you, you might see like a line that goes through the image. That would actually stamp with a line. So you kind of want to go that round piece there and do a little bit of, of circle right there. It's not like it'll matter. It won't. Oh, it's right, because we do have a secret we're going to do with this, you guys. You're gonna, you might really like this. You might not. I mean, you. Okay, so we're going to go in and place it nice and firm. You don't have to stamp and then get it up. I just can do a little wiggle. Don't rock. Doesn't matter. You're going to be die cutting it anyway. But looky there. Isn't that fabulous? Look how cute that little spaceman is. I think it's super adorable. Now, we're going to die cut. So I did need this. Herm, 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 herm. There we go. Do we want to do a planet or do we want to do the um, stars? stars? The stars. Okay. So what my daughter and I were looking at is that that circle die really does match the um, others. So let's blow up my die cutting machine right here. Can you grab the spaceman and all the stuffies? Please. Grab the dies as she knocks everything else down. She's got some skills, y'all. <laughs> it's not just me. My kids legit, legit get their skills from me. Plutzy skills. <laughs> right when you're filming, too. You gotta love it. Um, okay, so I did notice our spaceman. His, uh, the small circle actually will die cut the um, globe that you see, or the face mask. What would that be? Mask yeah. of some sort. So what we're going to do is we're going to die cut the spaceman just like so and we're, we're the, you can even do it at the same time you guys and this is what's really cool is you can die cut that little circle and I'm doing it twice one time one fell swoop I'm kind of a cheater 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 pumpkin eater and I really want to catch capture that um celestial image right there I'm not going to do it at the same time. So let's go ahead and um, quickly do this. Okay, so we have the really cute little spaceman. We have this pop-up card that's going to like make a big declaration. And I want to point out that you can totally put in money or gift cards like right here. So you would tuck it in. Now a gift card really tight on this side of the card. So that's why money really will work. You can put a stack of cash in here and the adhesive is dried. So it will hold it nice and firm. I think that my biggest concern with that is that it's just going to open it and that money might fall out. Um, and I want full credit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> giving it to her. Okay. Sorry, being silly. We're going to do the celestial on the outside of this for her. Um, I love this designer series paper. Super easy to work with. Um, I really debated using the hologram on it for her. And my daughter, when she saw the hologram, was like, ooh, that's pretty. So, um, but I think there's a lot going on with this project, as you see right now. So we're going to use a dimensional adhesive for the tab. I have one. One on here. There we go. Right there. And we're going to try to center that. Sometimes I use my grid to help me center. I know that sounds weird, but it works. So you can do something like so. And it's an optical illusion. Yeah. Pretty kind of cool, huh? How that works. Okay, where's your ribbon? It knocked over and she had it. So we're going to go ahead and come inside and tie it in a little knot. Just like so. It's a little frayed on the end. Does not have to be perfect because it's all about like kind of going above and beyond. Now I am grabbing my Wink of Stella because a helmet is kind of shiny and we want to really sparkle up this little celestial that she's seeing dab a dab a glue right in the center now this is what's kind of cool about this this is liquid adhesive so it makes it really easy to um, put it down and it will kind of spread out as you squeeze it down a little bit there now she's got on her mask the image of the solar system in there and we have this really cute little card reach for the stars and we're going to place it inside 
I'm trying to debate like how we do it. Should we do that? Oh, oh, I've got a great idea. You guys, this is going to make you laugh. Hold okay. On. This is going to make you laugh. You guys can grab these little wobbles. I have a link on my blog and description below. Um, I just grabbed them off of Amazon and this, this is the exact size. Don't get the bigger ones. So we're going to grab this little itty bitty wobble here. Just one. My daughter is laughing at me because if it's going to go over the top, that's me. I'm going to be the one who takes it over the top. There we go. So what we're going to do is put the firm foundation across the bottom. Right here. And it's pretty sticky for you, so you don't have to really worry about it. I'm going to come down here and put it right towards the top. So now he's going to kind of float through here. One of my favorite tools is my take your pick tool, especially if you have acrylic nails at all. This makes it really easy to get up the, um, the little film that's there holding it kind of apart. Look, he's going to be floating. Do you love that? Yep. Isn't that adorable? So you guys, this is going to fold right in and I'm going to be using my um, envelope board to create a custom envelope for her. And you can see, I'll have a link for that video as well, where I'm just grabbing this envelope board and we're gonna make a custom envelope that fits it. I'll just look for the four by four um, card. And then I'm gonna make an envelope that goes with that real quickly. I'll show you the video, it's just gonna be real quick. But this card is going to explode for you guys, ready? <gasps> Do you love it as much as I do? A quick and easy exploding card is a fun way to celebrate somebody and it's a perfect stick your money inside on the back. We'll end up writing our greetings inside for her and then sticking the funds inside in a nice folded crisp um, juicy bill that's gonna be for her. <laughs> um, I hope that you enjoyed this non-traditional card. Okay, you guys, I love, love how quick and easy this card is. It's a great, and it looks like it's a little popping out. That's okay, because it's on that spring. It's an exploding gift card where you can put money or gifts inside graduation card with a custom envelope out of the same stargazing designer series paper. And yes, it fits. I want you guys just to see it goes perfectly inside and you just tuck it in fold it and it's ready to go. What a great way to give a gift this um, graduation season. What do you think? Do you think Kylie's going to love it? Yep. I think she'll love it. Did you have fun making it? Yep. Okay, you guys, let me know what you think. Do you love the custom envelope or do you adore, just like I do, this little spaceman and his little spring um, or the pocket card or the fact that it's an exploding card that's telling him to reach for the stars? You look like you're rolling your eyes. I'm not. There's, <laughs> there's something some, flying around. There's something flying in my room. If you guys know me, that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, anyway, comment and let me know what you think. And then check out all the instructions for this at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Bye.